Hi everyone. So today is a very interesting day for me. Hmm. I'll tell you why. So I am with a uh, a great visionary. Probably I could call him a philanthropist. He has done service to the student community more than anyone else has ever done. You know, Sandeep Jain sir. <clears throat> the founder of geeks for geeks in fact when i was a student and uh, when i had to uh, type something i mean when i google out for uh, some doubts i used to get a lot of support from geeks for geeks and he has helped lot of students so you know today morning i came from hyderabad to delhi uh, to meet uh, sir so my intention was to ask him how he could help my students who are going for ms in us to give jobs or give some job support and then yeah that that is still going on so sir said that he will try to do something about it and he will plan it out and maybe he will come out with a plan about how he could provide jobs in us for us students that may, maybe once sir decides we'll talk about it but then in our conversation i i have found out many things that i i never knew about geeks for geeks and i thought that yeah you should all know about it so first thing is sandeep jain sir has actually started his career in uh, disha in hyderabad it seems that he was there in hyderabad for two and half years and he say he said that he likes uh, hyderabad okay so i i'm i i was asking him to move to hyderabad again <laughs> right so he, now after after working in a corporate company and then getting the salaries which are very high in a product based company especially leaving it and getting into teaching is a great sacrifice and i don't know how he has managed his family and convinced his family you know for this transition and i have never seen a person like that who would really leave a corporate job and teach in the college engineering college see i too like teaching and uh, i too left corporate but then i didn't teach in engineering college i started a coaching center right because we all know that there is no money in engineering college right so so he has he is very different right and interestingly he doesn't care about money he the the kind of platform geeks for geeks is everyone knows in the world right so he has 9 million subscribers and the views are in you know much more i, I think this is the uh, world's largest platform for computers and students he could have minted money like anything but he didn't do it till now no one knows that geeks for geeks is a company they only know that geeks for geeks is a website no one talks about the valuation here no one talks about the investment no one talks about making money and the culture that i have seen here are surprised see i nowadays even a small uh, youtuber with 100 subscribers he will try to get investors to build the business right but he he is not doing that so his aim is to do service and in fact whatever money he is getting from geeks for geeks trust me he is putting everything back in geeks for geeks i was again surprised right so i wouldn't have done that okay to be honest so now he's 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 actually trying to launch lot of things that even surprised me so his plan is now to do this service and take it to the next level even more like uh, he is planning to build a terrific youtube channel where everything will be available for free the top class quality and uh, so hats off to him this kind of service i i don't think that i have done any kind of uh, service to the computer science uh, community because i used to charge fee i i didn't do anything for free i used to charge hell a lot of fee like 30000 rupees right and you paid and still you got called me god of computer science right but just imagine what sandeep sir is doing everything related to computer science for free at top quality right and then the doubt support for free what else do you expect i mean this is going to revolutionize the education system in india at, at least in computer science 
what if he see he say you no know, the kind of courses he has lined up are like uh, everything like I, I cannot say that this and that and all everything right and the he, they have already started recording lot of classes are already ready so they are going to planning to launch it very soon and uh, so uh, i would like sandeep jain sir just speak about it uh, first of all it was great talking to you uh, really enjoyed the conversation and uh, I mean, if you ask me about how I build it, it's the same thing. I, आपने भी जिस तरह से YouTube channel start करा, you must have seen a lot of problems. और आपको भी लगा होगा कि यार ये problem solve करते हैं इसको कैसे भी, right? So I think the same thing uh, happened with me. I saw a lot of problems in the education system. जिस तरह से engineering के लोग struggle करते हैं, so just try to solve it with a blog initially. So I also want to ask you like, uh, what was the motivation behind uh, starting that youtube channel at that time when there were no youtube channels and you were the first one jisne youtube channel start kiya and i remember when i was uh, teaching in engineering college and i used to ask me ki uh, ask the students ki how will you learn this subject this they used to tell me like uh, before the exam we'll watch rbr sir's videos mm -hmm. and we'll crack the exam so where did the motivation come from i mean from your side also i would like love to hear that sir simple sir so uh when i was teaching in offline coaching centers then uh, i i had to do the same thing every day again and again again and again right then then i found a book called good to great a beautiful book in that book there is a beautiful concept written time telling versus clock building now let us imagine a business model where someone comes to you and ask you the time you will you will just look at your watch and tell them the time they will give you one rupee that is the business model you have to sit at a place and then be available for them all the time and just see the watch and tell them that is a business model and now if you look at the clock building you just record the classes put it there they will run forever like people will come just look at the clock see the time drop the money and you are you need not be there right so that concept has inspired me that is one book and the other book that inspired me is innovators dilemma so of offline coaching centers were already there how could you disrupt them then innovators dilemma has given me lot of comparisons you know about all the industries they have given me in, you know like in the book about pen drives this how everything got disrupted and then uh, into automobile industry how everything got disrupted like that they have explained me clearly many industries now i applied that to education you know sector where yeah i could disrupt the offline using online so then i i was the first in the market uh, and then uh, the right time right place so that that is how i had monopoly and people came to know about me and that is why they called me god of computer science now they will not call me god of computer science because you know everyone is teaches the same in fact my my students will teach better than me now right <laughs> but i don't know but still when you, when it, when we peop, when people talk about those computer science subjects i mean they always use your name i mean still there i mean i've seen it everywhere people following you like anything uh, that's great to see and great to meet a fellow teacher i mean really feel great when i called you first time i felt like i'm talking to a fellow teacher a person who has also done something great in the computer science where i am also trying to do uh, i've been also trying to do things so uh, i mean if you ask me about my journey for me it has been the same a uh, uh, similar reason jis tarah se india ka education system hai jis tarah se wo schooling mein kharab quality hota hai aur jis tarah se maine engineering college se padhai ki wahan pe bahut hi kharab tha matlab meri health kharab ho gayi thi itna zyada pressure tha academic ka kyunki jo wahan pe teachers the wo padhate nahi the और इतना इतना ज़्यादा प्रेशर रहता था कि एकेडमी की क्वालिफाई कर लो वो ही बहुत है और एंड में जाके पेरेंट्स से एक्सपेक्टेशन होता था कि चार साल बाद आप एक जॉब भी करोगे क्योंकि उन्होंने इतना सारा इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज की फीस में स्पेंड किया है तो मुझे लगा यार इट्स नॉट जस्ट मी कि जो स्ट्रगल कर रहा है देर आर लॉट्स ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स इन इंडिया हु आर स्ट्रगलिंग बिकॉज दे आर टू मच एंड टू दी अकेडमिक्स उनको टीचर पढ़ा नहीं पा रहे और उनको अकेडमिक कर रहे हैं टीचर्स का एक्सपेक्टेशन है कि वो प्रोजेक्ट भी करें और प्रोजेक्ट में कुछ नया करें और उसके बाद पेरेंट्स की एक्सपेक्टेशन है कि चार साल बाद वो जॉब भी जॉब भी करें क्योंकि उन्होंने इतना सारा फी पे किया है तो मुझे लगा यार बहुत स्ट्रगल है यहाँ पर कुछ करा जा सकता है जिस स्ट्रगल से मैं गया हूँ जिस जिस स्ट्रगल से जिस स्ट्रगल के थ्रू मैंने किया है वो नहीं शायद गीस वर्गी की वजह से कुछ कम हुआ है लोगों का वो स्ट्रगल सर टिल नाउ यू हैव क्रिएटेड सम काइंड ऑफ आई कैन से रेवोल्यूशन एंड नाउ 
from now on whatever you are going to do is going to change the education system the game is going to be changed it is going to be the next level in general even right now we are have this job portal where we uh, provide job access to the students and uh, even right now there are like uh, all the big tech giants which which have hired through us and uh, there are many big companies which are going to come on platform in fact we already are doing a jobathon uh, where students can participate and they can get hired and this jobathon activity we do monthly and again all these things that we are doing uh, rbr they were just to solve that struggle which i went through ki engineering students ko kaise bhi karke wo uh, job ka access mil jaye jo mere ko nahi tha us time yeah so so guys uh, this is interesting i mean uh, i think this is going to he is going to change lot of things in education system and uh, only thing i would request is please do something about the students who are going to us very soon maybe you start something in us some offices and set it up and help our students there sure sure i'm here and uh, i think i think the thing, new thing that you started it sounds very promising to me uh, personally and the stats that you shared with me i mean the, the numbers really look great uh, the the kind of potential this thing has and the, the things that student don't know already right the kind of opportunities they have then they work really hard to somehow qualify the gate exam and with even less hard work they could do better right so i i, I it all looks great to me and let's see <laughs> as you said yeah <laughs> okay guys thank you love you guys